Russia developed a new weapon to shoot down U.S. and European missiles. The Russian military conducted tests of the S-500 Prometheus air defense system, which they claim is capable of shooting down hypersonic targets, reports Defense Express. Supposedly, during these tests, the S-500 system demonstrated the ability to shoot down hypersonic aerial targets. As an example, they cite prospective Western hypersonic missiles, combat units of intercontinental ballistic missiles or guided warheads, as well as short-range ballistic missiles. Russia claims that such capabilities of the S-500 were supposedly confirmed during the launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile from the Tula nuclear-powered submarine of the Russian Northern Fleet, which was launched in the Laptev Sea. Russian authorities attribute the successful destruction of targets to powerful radars, electronic computing systems, and highly maneuverable anti-aircraft missiles. Among publicly available information, it is noted that the Russian anti-aircraft missile system is a new generation of anti-aircraft missile systems, which are expected to apply the principle of separate resolution of tasks for the destruction of ballistic and aerodynamic targets. As early as 2021, Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov claimed that the S-500 system was allegedly in serial production. There are also plans to develop a naval version of the promising S-500 anti-aircraft missile system, including for installation on the Storm aircraft carrier project. Previously, a representative of the Defense Intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Major General Vadim Skibitsky, stated that during the war, Russia transferred air defense systems from the Far East and the Northern region to Moscow and the occupied Crimea. However, the power of defense does not always correspond to the aggressor's statements. The representative of the military intelligence reported that the most powerful complex they have in service is the S-400, but even it is not entirely perfect. There are cases when their equipment fails. The well-known Pantsir also misses our aircraft, which ultimately reach their targets, he added. In Syria, Hezbollah is training Russian drone operators. In Syria, Russian operators of Iranian-made UAVs are being trained by Hezbollah for the war against Ukraine. This was reported by the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. The report notes that they are being trained at the Syrian airfield of Shayrat. Trainings for Muscovites are being conducted by the Lebanese Hezbollah police and the Iranian Revolutionary Guard on the territory of the Syrian military airfield of Shayrat, the statement said. The main intelligence directorate noted that the Lebanese-Iranian-Russian training course provides for the development of the Shahed-136 and Ababil-3 UAVs, as well as the Ra'ad remote-controlled aircraft. It is reported that the military exercises are headed by one of the Hezbollah commanders, Kamal Abu Sadiq, who specializes in the manufacture and maintenance of drones. Syrian mercenaries are undergoing training together with the Russians, whom Moscow plans to use in the war against Ukraine as UAV operators, the main intelligence directorate notes. Besides, instructors from the composition of the no longer existing Wagner Group, who were on the territory of Belarus, now take an active part in the training of Hezbollah fighters. The main task is to convey the experience of conducting military operations in Ukraine, assault operations by small groups, battles in urban areas, the use of kamikaze drones and shock UAVs with drops. Center of National Resistance of Ukraine says, Russians constructed 30-kilometer defense line with 2,000 railway cars. The Russians built a 30-kilometer line of defense from more than 2,000 railway cars. This was reported by Deep State Analytical Community. The continuous construction stretches along the branch line from the railway station in Olenivka to Volnovaka and has about 2,100 wagons of various types. It is reported that the construction of this massive defensive line began in July 2023. For its construction, apparently, rolling stock was used, stolen, from the temporarily occupied territories. Such a defensive structure, which in fact represents a solid wall, is a very serious obstacle in the way of advancing troops. Given that some sections of the railway track are built with a high roadbed, such a defensive line is a full-fledged defensive shaft.
It is possible to overcome it only after large-scale engineering works, disengagement of wagons, removal from tracks, or movement to another place. However, these engineering works will be accompanied by the counteraction of the Russians. In addition to problems for Ukrainian troops, such a line of defense also creates problems for the Russians themselves. Logistics for advanced positions can be difficult due to an obstacle. In addition, such a barrier creates an obstacle to maneuver. This is a very specific engineering structure, the effectiveness of which is difficult to assess. The idea is clear, an obstacle to the advancement of the defense forces. It can be considered as a separate line of defense because it is extremely difficult to damage, move or blow up the 30 kilometer mass of metal and the movement of equipment through such a blockage without breaking through the corridor is impossible, writes the deep state team. This is not the first time the Russians have built huge engineering barriers as part of a full-scale Russian-Ukrainian war. In April 2023, it became known that the Russians built a solid 70-kilometer anti-tank ditch in Zaporizhia, which stretched from the village of Semenivka to the village of Marinivka.